Welcome to SCR1 TNO Knitting Project Podcast. This is episode 32 and today is Friday the 27th of September 2019. This is not my normal podcast. Um, I thought I'd pop in and explain what's going on. Welcome if you're a new viewer. Welcome back if you're a returning viewer. We are in Ireland this week and if you're watching my vlogs you'll know why. If not, um, we are here with my husband to do um, with his hobby, which is hot air ballooning. And um, I'm very pleased to say I've been joined by Grace of the Babbling Traveller Yarn podcast and her husband James, who are crewing for us for the balloon. And of course, Grace and I are talking about all things knitting. Um, we've recorded a joint podcast. The first half fits on my channel and the second half fits on her channel. It is different, so please do check out both. Um, if you'd like to see what my normal format is like, please go check out episode 30. Um, that's a definitely more of a normal one, and <laughs> as normal as I get anyway. And there is a giveaway on that one as well, so if you go and check it out, you can see what's going on. If you have entered the giveaway, I will draw for that on my next episode, which will be episode 33, and will be up next week. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, we had great fun recording it, and as I said, the other half is on Grace's podcast, so go check that out as well. Take care, and I will see you next week. Right, okay, let's start this, I guess. Yes. Um, hi, folks. Um, it's, I'm going to blank again, it's Friday the yeah. 27th. Yes, you're right. Yay. Yay. Um, <laughs> I never get that right. I never, I've given up saying no. it now. If you watch my vlogs, you know I go, it's, um, yeah, <laughs> whatever day. Yeah, and good. we're in Ireland at the Irish National Berlin <clears throat> meet, and I have a special guest. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm over the moon about because I have followed Grace for ages and I adore her and yeah Stop. and we started chatting yeah and we really bonded over bad backs yes that was what really bonded us we both us. had bad backs at the same time so we were both lying there on the couch or on the Pity, floor sorry. being like <laughs> <laughs> have you tried this drug <laughs> yeah what are you on <laughs> So, just in case you don't know me, my name is uh, Grace, I'm from Babbles Travelling Yarns, and I'm Vanna Willemiel on Instagram, and I'm really delighted to be here. You invited me, um, because I think you were talking about, I think we started talking about balloons in Bagan, and then, yeah. then you were saying, oh, that might have been my husband or my son-in-law, or, yeah. you know, all yeah, that stuff. My stepson, yeah. My stepson, so, because he works out there, and I had gone to Bagan, and I'd gone on one of these balloon trips, hot air balloon trips. And um, that was about a month before I started podcasting ever, actually. And uh, Sharon's like, a shame. oh, it would have been good if you'd seen I that know, on video. It would it? have been great. I've got a million, <laughs> I had a million pictures, but anyway, it's all gone now. When you, before you start podcasting, you really only take pictures. And yeah, then it's like, true. how sad. <laughs> yeah, that's really we don't true. have any videos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because video captures so much more, I think. But pictures are always really nice as well. So, yeah, she was mentioning about the Hot Air Championships here in Burren County, um, Offaly, uh, in the centre of Ireland. And, um, yeah, so here I am. Yay. She agreed to come and crew. There's her and James are supposed to be crewing for us, but unfortunately the weather didn't play Shocking. ball. Shocking. Although we're looking out the window going, I know, it looks is it gorgeous now? Yeah, <laughs> typical. Oh, it's but it's so changeable. Really difficult to get the slots, I guess. Yeah. You've you've been up once or twice already. I think Ian's only. Oh, well, Ian's flown twice. Right, yes. Because he did an inspection flight, yeah. so, and I think there's been five flights over the entire meet. But a lot of them were really quick flights, which yeah, when Ian's just a little one man basket, it's just like no. Yeah. I'd rather he didn't go and hurt himself. To be fair. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Yeah, because you know. I'm working in the hospital and I don't need to see him coming in off of a hot air balloon crash. Oh, can you imagine if he needs an extra? Yeah, it'd be you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll probably be Mullingar, but anyway. And <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so what? Um, what are you working on? You're working on some nice. Things. I am working on my um, right, folks. So I managed to finish the first MCN sock. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> Is that, this like the polymer Katie? Yeah, oh. and oh, super super, I think. Oh my gosh, too cute. I think that's. If you can see yeah, the little sheepy sheep sheep face. face. Look at the little toes. Bless it. And yeah, I'm halfway round. 
my second sock. I'm really hoping to get this done by it, kind of either the end of today or, well, I'll definitely get it done tomorrow because there's loads of travel time oh, tomorrow. Yeah. You and your tiny little size five feet. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I've got one pair of socks done this year and I've just finished a second. No, I've got two now. Nine yeah. months. Nine yeah. months it's taken me to. Yeah, but how many garments have you made? I don't know actually. Because, you know, we're not just talking knitted garments, we're talking woven <laughs> garments as well. Well, yes. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, so I do do a lot of other crafts. That's what it's, it eats into my spinning in my knitting time, really. Because if I'm not knitting, I'm spinning. And if I'm not spinning, I'm weaving. And if I'm not weaving, if I get a day off to myself without any other business going on. I um, Last week, I got a... Actually, on Tuesday, I got some time in between vet visits and pets and all this sort of jazz to, um, to sew up some of my woven long scarf pieces that I had sitting in my craft room for ages and ages and ages and I finally got time to just whip up two garments. It takes so little do, time. just whip up two no, garments. No, but like sewing, <laughs> it takes so little time compared to actually weaving or knitting yeah. them, do you know? So it is, even though I'm not very good at sewing, but sure, on hand spun, it's easy to like, you don't, you don't see the stitches very well because the hand spun is, yeah. or the hand spun and the hand woven, it's kind of like bobbly anyway. So it's all a bit bobbly. I can't sew in a straight line. <laughs> I really can't. See, you can't tell. No. Well, that's what I was thinking. If I can weave um, <laughs> some cushion covers, then I wanted to do a board around it. Yes, you need to get your loom up and running. I'm so bossy now. It's never going to happen. <laughs> but, oh, I've got a warping video up, but it's not very good. There are better warping videos out there. So, um, Is it all set up? Do you need to put it together? No, no. Ian did that for me. Okay. He set it all up for me right. when he came home between... Um, Christmas and New Year mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's how long it's been set up mm. and it's just sitting in my spare room and each time I go in there I look at it and go yeah no I'm okay oh you. you know what you yeah, just have to get into a mood to do it do you know you'll, that mood will come on you yeah one of these days but no pressure it's fine it's only weaving it's only weaving it's only knitting it's only <laughs> spinning whatever <laughs> and um, you brought over your spinning wheel as well I did <gasps> it's so pretty well master spinner we've got here, so. we've got the same wheel but hers it has like a dark stain on it it's like um i don't know what kind of stain it is but it's a traveler she's got you've got a traveler a single treadle. sorry single treadle single drive yeah scotch tension traveler and i've got a, i've got two feet on it just because i enjoy that i enjoy the two feet and i've got a double drive which means that my flyer is the other way around but if you don't know anything about spinning, it's completely double dutch. And actually, even if you know a little bit about spinning, it's still double dutch. Yeah, I don't quite know what the benefit is of it. I don't know either, but I just know I like it. Yeah. I don't understand why I like double drive. I just do. I just quite yeah. enjoy it. I enjoy the fact that it's single drive because it's actually my knee that I don't have the arthritis oh, in. Oh, okay. So, so that yeah. makes my life a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's what you know, and I've only ever, I, I'd only ever spun on a spindle so true. before I got yeah. that wheel. Mm -hmm. And I'd never even touched a wheel. And I was just like, well, actually, I really want a spinning wheel. Yeah. And then I watched, um, I bought a Craftsy class, so that's now Blueprint. Um, Which one was that? Beginning Spinning. Okay. And I watched that and I looked at it and went, okay. And then I looked at my wheel and I went, none of my wheel looks like the wheel. <laughs> I know. <laughs> none of this There's makes so many any different sense. types, no. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was sort of sitting there and then I was chatting with you when I got my wheel yes. like, ages ago. Um, so I literally. I hope I gave you some useful information. Yeah, you told me which wheel you had, which was the same as okay. mine, which was really helpful. Okay, good. So you can see what and I was doing. Yeah, literally, I just sat there and I, you were spinning and you were chatting about, I think you were spinning a different fibre. Mm. And I just sat there and watched, basically. I was like, okay, so that bit goes there and that bit goes there. And that's, oh, that's what that's called. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because she's talking about the treadle and she's talking about the flyer. And I was sort of looking at it going, what's that on my wheel, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was great. And yeah, and it's... Um, that's so what I say to anyone who's thinking about getting into spinning. If you can get hold of a wheel, if you can hire one, grab some fibre and just start playing. Yeah, literally, just go for it because... Yeah. Nobody can really teach you that first 
how to stop. It's a real feeling, isn't yeah. it? You know, you've just got to yeah. try it and see. Yeah. I mean, you can get a teacher who can tell you the bits and the bits and the bobs. Like, you know, yeah. you, you've, you've kind of seen what I'm doing. So at least yeah. that makes sense, what yeah. the mechanics does. But the actual feel for the fibre going in. Yeah. Like, I brought up this, um, this is my electric... Um, Ashford electric e-spinner and um, it's completely different again because there's no mm. treadle so you can't control the speed with your feet which I didn't realize and you said when you tried out the nano yeah. at the Southern Wool show that you don't realize that you can't you how much you control, control the speed this, yeah you, you've you're getting to your a body. tricky bit and you, you you'll just look and you'll see that the fibers may be a bit more clumped or something yeah and you'll be like oh it's are all, you, yeah are you slow down you naturally you slow automatically down. assume that you're slowing down but your feet aren't doing anything because <laughs> yeah. it's a motor so you're like oh no yeah. and then it just goes splink and yeah, then straight in. yeah so I kind of I've gotten a bit faster with my hands. You have to get a bit faster with your hands with an e spinner, I think. Yes. Um, but for people like I know, I know my friend Susan from the Irish Fibre Crafters. She's just ordered her e spinner after she saw this one last week um, at the um, the tour Bally Lee. Uh, we went to Yeats Tower for an yeah. International Spinning Public Day, and. <clears throat> she tried this out and she has got a number of um just kind of de uh, debilitating kind of um uh she's got fibromyalgia and she's oh, got a yeah. few I, i'm not sure if that's right now susan sorry if i've got that wrong but basically um she finds it difficult to kind of keep pedaling keep treadling it takes it takes it out of her quite a lot so with this you're just sitting there and it, yes. it just flows you know i've got another friend who has another kind of just kind of a bit of a disability with with regards to the feet and the legs and just at the, just can't keep going for long periods of time mm. so this actually is great for if you want to go into production spinning if you want to start spinning to sell your yarn oh, it's right. actually great because there's very little physical effort you know but um it still produces beautiful yarn once you get the hang of it well it's the same as everything isn't yeah. it once you get the hang of it then yeah. um i'm finally getting a finer spin and it's just patience. It's totally patience and practice. Everyone keeps asking me, how long does it take? And you're like, it depends on how often you're spinning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because I try and spin for 15 minutes every day. Mm -hmm. But I've um, recently, when I've been working, I've worked out I can't spin on days I work. So that's three days a week. Because the fourth day I work from home, so I can normally spin on that mm -hmm. day. So four out of the seven days I'll spin. And I notice if I have a gap that I'm... Um, what am I doing? I know. It just kind of goes for me yeah. a little bit. I know. It, it tends to be for me that I um, I get th I get a fit of spinning for a couple of days. And I'll spin, 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 spin. And I'll end up with a finished skein. You know, you'll spin. You'll, I'll spin like a bobbin in a night. And then another bobbin in the next night. And then I'll apply it the next night. And I'll stay up way too late finishing all of these, of course. Like one o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous. Once I start, I can't stop. And then once I've finished it, I'm like... a month to do a bobbin. <laughs> My viewers know because they've seen the bobbin. You've seen my my green bobbin. Yeah, they've seen I see. me do that. I see. And um, yeah, that um, it, that's oh, it's so pretty. I say when is the, when did I start that? I started that months ago now. Oh, it's lovely. But I'm really pleased that I've taken the time and yeah. But this is me. Like I think because I, I don't do fifteen a day. I do like five hours a day. But then I stop for maybe a week or two weeks. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then I'll get into, oh, I want to weave that yarn now, or I want to weave something, so then I'll just be weaving for a week. So I have, like, different weeks. I like the way you do it with your, your um, kind of, like, your sweater day and your shawl day and all that jazz. That's nice, but I, I wish I was able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very bad at routine. Yeah, I mean, mine, it was only born from, uh, I just realised how many whips I had. And I yeah. used to be one project, and I wouldn't even buy the yarn for my next project until I was nearing oh. the end of this project. Oh my gosh. And then that all went out of the window when I discovered Indie Dye Yes, I mean. Um, and then I've always been a prolific sock knitter ever yeah. since I learned. Yeah. Um, but then I went into garments and I found that I discovered shawls. Yeah. That, that shawls were a thing. Yeah. Um, and I just looked at it and went, I've got too many whips, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I get bored really easily. Yeah. <laughs> So having sort of one thing a day, mm -hmm. it means that I don't get bored. 
And there's often times when I'll pick up a project and go, oh, I don't want to put this down. I just want to knit on this. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day I'll be like, no, I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to do this day. And I'll pick that up and go, oh, actually, no, I don't want to put this down. Do you find that you get through a lot more? Do you finish a lot more? Yeah. I always finish a lot more when I'm on project. Always. Because... I just get because you can start something new. Yeah. So when I've finished a show, yeah. I'm allowed to cast on a new show. Yeah. Even though I've got six other projects on the go. <laughs> My brain goes, Oh yeah, you you know, you finished it, you can cast on it. Like yeah. the socks. I would definitely as soon as I finish them off, well, I mean recently apparently five sock whips are, are, are allowable, which they're not. That that is not allowed. <laughs> I'm not allowed five sock whips. It's only knitting, it's fine. You know? It's just what else have we got on the needles? Bear, bear with me my hair's decided it's going I'm just going to leave it down <laughs> yeah. I give up I'm just going to leave it down oh, what else have I got on my needles I have got my jumper on my needles <sighs> show me that which is now this is a pattern by Isabel Kramer and it's the Ingrid which if I can show you a picture there we go it's that one I'm making that so you've got that lovely colour work and it's like a single band across. Yeah, and it's there's a second band at the bottom. Ah, oh, I see, I see, yeah. Lovely. Um, it hasn't got you around the sleeve, no. Um, and this was inspired by Grace's current pattern that she's working on. <gasps> Which I'm, <laughs> I'm like sitting, so I have to be knitting mm -hmm. if someone else is talking. But anyway, you talk about that. Um, so yeah, this, this was inspired by that because I really, really want this jumper. So. And you will get it. It's going to be one of my test knitters. Absolutely. <laughs> I just have to write the bloody pattern. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, Last night we I've were, seen the notes. The process. <laughs> it's, a, it's not really a process. <laughs> it's great. No, it's going to be wonderful. I can't wait. I mean, it's so pretty. I hope so. I need to figure out these sleeve situations. But anyway, apart from that. So I just watched Grace's latest episode and saw this lovely colour work jumper. I was like, oh, I cannot wait to do this jumper. And I was like, I really want to do a colour work jumper. And I remembered, um, before I discovered Indie Dyed Yarn, I had bought a load of Serdar um, Sublime DK, which is a merino silk mix and cashmere it's got cashmere in it oh, wow. so not ideal for color work admittedly but i had more than a sweat sweaters quantity of this yarn here we go baby cashmerino silk dk so there's no acrylic in that at all there is some acrylic in it there isn't there is yeah oh i see because it's got a kind of a funny little shine i was like is, yeah. is that all um that's the silk, silk. Like yeah it's silk um, Oh no. No, there's no acrylic at no, all. No, there's no acrylic. It's wow. seventy five percent merino, twenty percent silk and five percent cashmere. Oh. Um It is sublime. It is really soft, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. So I thought, well, I've got this yarn and I really love the colours that I've chosen and I really need I just thought I need a jumper in it. So it's not the ideal for colour work. But in actual fact It's working really well. It is actually if you feel it, it's quite woolly. Yeah. It is. It's woollier than you think it's going Oppa. to be. So, it's a lovely, lovely colour. And it is quite, it's lovely. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And so there's, all the increases are at the top before the colour work band. Is that right? Um, that's short row shaping. Short row shaping. And, yeah, and increasing. And increasing, yeah. And then, so the colour so work, nice. there's no increasing in it. I like it. Which is great. And then once you've got through the colour work yoke, the whole yoke is um, done in one without any increases. And then you split for the sleeves. So it's a great pattern. And I love Isabel Kramer's pattern. The one I'm wearing at the moment yeah. is her ED. So that's an ED t-shirt. Oh, that's an and Isabel that, Kramer. And this is an Isabel Kramer as I well. remember a very little made a few of these ED t-shirts, I think. Oh, they're lovely. Actually, they're yeah. so practical to yeah. wear as well. So that's practical. Great. Because they're... Um, short sleeved yeah, yeah. if like if you're inside nine times out of ten you've got the heating on yeah so you're going to be warm enough yeah definitely and i love it i live in it i live in it this yeah. is grace's yarn as well <laughs> i had to wear it <laughs> so, yeah. so nice. this is ivy and this is winter mist mm. that's so, so pretty beautiful. so you've got enough for another whole sweater i have got enough for a i may have not believe the quantities required in the pattern and bought a bit more than I needed because <laughs> you know you know what like that's hard to... actually this is Isabel Kramer as well this is my hand spun but it's Yume 
you may is about creamer and the short row shaping there's only like a tiny little bit up at the top but sure hey so this is you may you've got this lovely little um lace I really love pretty. that lace. And this is all your hand spun. That's all of my hand spun as well. So I'm working on, that was a fractal, fractal hand spun, 300 grams. It is a bit short. That's I wish I had a bit more, but um, so nice. This was a twisted rib, I yeah, think. Yeah, it was a twisted rib. It's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it's done the fake seam down the side. Yeah, which is just a pearl stitch. Yeah, that's Every the time same. you go around, it's just a little pearl stitch. Um, it's the same one here, but you can't see it because... <laughs> I hadn't seen Grace's amazing video on pedicle knitting. Oh, yeah. Which everybody, if you're knitting jumpers, needs to go and watch. <laughs> so I, um, you can't see my seam down the side on mine because that's where I carried my yarn up. So it oh, pulls yeah. it in. Oh, and the same with, I wouldn't have had the centre here. Yeah. So the next time I'm making one of these. Pedicle knitting all the way. Oh, it's magic. Yeah. I, yeah. It is complete magic. When I first figured it out, I was like, oh my God. It, it is complete magic. It's I wonderful. do not know how it works, but it is absolutely incredible. So this is, if you don't know, it's where you put, you can use two um, skeins of the same yarn. Yeah. And you don't, you can mix it, so, but you don't get a join. Yeah. It's so you're, every, every second row, you're using your second yarn. So effectively yeah. you're knitting stripes. Um, so it's great for um, hand dyed yarn because you know you, it's very rare that the hand dyer in her kitchen or in her studio or his studio or their studio that they will achieve perfect commercial you know yeah. evenness across the batch. So in order to kind of blend the skeins together to try and get a more consistent color, if you have two balls and you're knitting with them at the same time so you knit one round all the way around and then you come to the three stitches before you are due to pick up the next color you slip those three stitches and then you pick up the next color and you come around so what's happening is you're actually moving the the interest the 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 transition i call yeah. it the transition three it, it doesn't have to be three stitches i like three stitches it tends to even it out you can do it with one stitch you can just slip one stitch and then knit away with the next one and what it means is that um you you don't have a big row of slip stitches all the way up around your garment you just knit them on the next round yeah so every stitch is knit your beginning of the round marker does not move. It stays in the same place. You slip that as well. So your beginning of the round doesn't change. Just where your yarn is joining is changing. Sometimes it can be a little bit confusing for people. But once you actually try it, I think people get in their head a little bit about it. And yeah, they keep on just asking literally, so many questions about just, like, oh, trust how, the how, video. How, how, Sit just, there with your knitting it. and have the video in front of you and do it like to the next stage. Stop, once watch the video. It's so it works. obvious. Yeah. It works. It's amazing. Don't be it's stressing magic. about it because if you get in your head about it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So um, I was watching Caroline of the Dundonet podcast and she was saying the same thing. She was like, don't panic. Just trust the process. Yes, absolutely. And I was like, exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Because underneath, if you go underneath that video, Oh my God, there's yeah. so many. They're all the same yeah. questions. Because They're people think about that, it yeah. before they do it. And yeah. it's just literally don't think about it. Just, just sit it. there and do it. <laughs> and it is just magic. It's not, I mean, if, listen, if by some reason for you it doesn't work and for everyone else it has worked, but if just for some reason it doesn't work for you, it's only one row you have to pull out. Like, just yeah. try it. It's fine. Yeah. Try it on a little hat first, maybe, or something. You know, a little baby hat. Just to try and get used to it. And then um, you'll be flying. Once once you've tried it, you'll understand how it works or why it works. You know, it, it just works. <laughs> she says that. I do no idea how but it, it still works. works. But it works. <laughs> because it's magic. It is magic. It's Sometimes you just magic. don't need to know how, why it works. It just Absolutely. does. Absolutely. <laughs> right. So the only other thing I have got... Oh, I've got two other things because I've got a finished object. I just don't know. Where did I put them? Where did the socks mm. go? In here? I've completely lost my socks. Mm. Oh, shit. So there's the sock blank. Are oh, they on the floor? Oh, there we go. Best place for them. <laughs> Absolutely. They're very similar to what you're knitting right now. They are, aren't they? Got a bit I've of a colour scheme yeah, I mean, going on. Especially if you consider that's the same with the jumper too. Yeah. We had this conversation Minty, last podcast. Minty yeah. Licious. Yeah we, had, yeah, we definitely had the Hucker. Yeah. That's the name of this, isn't it? Uh, yes. So, 
there we go look oh, there's that one them. there's that one and there are in actual fact two and um, for the next podcast i will wash and block them because these are knit from a sock bank yeah they'll be a little squiggly and i mean i love that i yeah. think it looks like crepe paper and it I, does. I just love the effect i like know a lot of people don't yeah yeah is this hannah yeah. corner of craft yeah. <gasps> that's, that's so july's cute. club i think oh. It is the prettiest stitch marker ever. A little Sunday. So pretty. Do you know, in the, cam- in the camera, it's really clear. Oh, that's so nice. That's so pretty. So pretty. Love you, Hannah. Absolutely. Yeah, she's great. I see there on got, her updates. You've still got quite a lot in this. This is Hedgerow Yarns. Um, yeah. So, would you get another pair of socks out of this? I would. Shorty socks. What I will probably do mm-hmm. um, is... I will wind it off into 10 gram yeah. minis and stick it in Advent. Yes. Because I've got a couple of swaps I'm doing for Christmas. Oh, lovely. That's actually um, lovely. So uh, I, will, I will say I will knit it into my Crazy Mimis blanket. I've actually already done that. It's already in there. Oh. Um, and then I will wind off 10 gram midi, minis and anything I've got left, I will stick in a magic knot ball. Yep. I desperately need to get together my magic knot ball, which I have been promising to do for years. No, good. No. I'm using mine, so I tend to kind of have to do them, otherwise I'll run out. Yeah. That's lovely. That's really nice. Well, that's that's it from me, I think. Have you got your crochet? Oh, yes. I suppose people have seen that, but I just love it so much. I have, because I did a new... I did a new... A row. new row. A new row. Exciting. Oh, I always do this. I always put it at the bottom of the bag. Oh, yeah. And you pile so, all this stuff in on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. I just love this. So this is my... So cute. Oh, look at all the little... Yep. So it's that one. There so we go. So they... oh. All the ones with stitch markers on are my new row. Oh, all these stitch markers are so gorgeous. <sighs> that is so pretty. These are all... This is Sucre Sucre, is it? Macaroons and... Oh, I don't is. know who they are, but I don't think they're Sucre Sucre because oh. they're, um, they're from Kelly's Cupcake Club oh, from a couple I of years see. ago. Oh, I see. I see. What's then... that? Is that scone? Yeah, oh, it's so cute. So that's looking really nice. Do you know what it kind of looks like with the stitch markers? It's like some sort of medieval <laughs> jousting tournament tent, doesn't it? <laughs> I love where your head goes. I'm just <laughs> so you can see I've changed the colour now. You can see what I'm doing with the colours. Hmm. Where I've got the sort of stripes of colour on the diagonal. That's it. And then you'll see that it's going to change down. So pinky, pinky. So this yeah. is kind of pinky, pinky, peachy, peachy. Nice. So yeah. I'm just still not sure about that purple, but hey ho, <laughs> it's yeah, in there now. Once there's more of it, it makes sense. Yeah. Once the stripe goes all the uh, way but down. Yeah, because I, I, the same with the pink. That pink's quite bright. Yeah. Um, and though I did actually look at it and go, ooh, I shouldn't have put the purple that end. I should have put it the other end. And then realised those two are about no. to go off and start over this side. Yeah. So that, they because they've come off strips across at the bottom. So it's got gaps at the moment. And then when I finished it, I will go that way. Because I'm not them about together. individually joining them all. There's a way to do it, and I don't know what it is. Like the join as you go technique, but I've looked it up and I don't understand it. It's like the helical knitting. <laughs> well, you still end so, up with two ends to sew in. Ugh. And I'm just like, no. 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 I refuse. <laughs> I mean, I, I am a willing end weaver. I don't mind. Well, since um, I saw um, Ellie from Craft House Magic's method of sewing in her ends. Oh. She on crochet um funnily enough not on crochet it's on knitting okay um on i think it was one of her vlogmas episodes and i just looked at it and went oh that is magic it's a bit like the helical knitting really? you, can't, you can't see the ends yeah. it's great oh. so now i do not mind sewing in ends absolutely happy. i'm gonna have to go back and look at that but i did actually message um ellie and say about how how she do her crochet ends. so yeah. she showed me and it's, it's the same you can't see the ends at all no i can't see anything you cannot see the ends it's brilliant I need so to um, so you need to show me. <laughs> Seeing as I you're here. Sh- yeah, I can show you. That's you're probably right good. here. And I need to sew the ends in on my socks because oh. they're not as finished as they look because I so have to. You can end. show me that as well. Great. Yeah, so I can show you how to do Excellent. That. <laughs> Skills share. Absolutely. It's what it's all about, isn't yes. it? Yes. That, yeah, that's the community. That's it. So, yes, I'm done. So, you're done. Okay, so. What a lovely day. Well, thank you very much for having me on your podcast. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. It's been so much fun. It's been so lovely. I know I was supposed to come for the whole week, but I managed to not be able to because I had like 
interviews and then job stuff and then oh my god I was just mad but anyway yeah. um so we're going to pop over onto my channel now yeah and we're going to talk about my things that I've got going on yeah. and so if you want to you can pop over to me and yeah. uh, join me and I'd love to see you there please do you can see Sharon as well thanks for the chats yeah. <laughs> right you will see me later on today during the vlog um what else have we got today you're going back mm -hmm. to Limerick for a little we'll while we got the gala yeah the survivors got, dinner uh, yeah well, I, told, I told Grace it's called the gala dinner because it's actually called the survivors dinner I didn't want to put her off <laughs> It's the same it's thing. like bloody parts <coughs> wandering around. Yeah, Bits absolutely. of balloon dragging off you. Yeah. Wicker yeah. everywhere. Absolutely. It's <laughs> the same thing. But um, So yeah, I will do some um, vlog later. Um, yeah. And you I said we can bring our knitting. Yeah, yeah, definitely we're bringing our knitting. Um, <laughs> yeah, Great. I don't know whether I'll use this as a podcast. This could oh, be episode could be. 32. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Um, or whether I'll pop it in the vlog. But it's either or. It's going to be one of the others. Right, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>